Retro Rob plays everything. Hey Rob here and welcome to GPD Win Live where every week I show you another game to play on your GPD Win. Of course if you have any kind of small Windows device it should work just fine here but in this case the GPD Win is of course a handheld clamshell shaped Windows 10 gaming device. Uh, you can see it on the cover of this video. Of course I can't show you it right now because it is hooked into the umbilicals that allow me to record off of it which makes the second point. Uh, all this gameplay is done directly off of the system itself. So, no cheating. This is exactly how it runs. All right, this week it is Rain of Bullets by Critical Bit and Triangle Studios. Uh, this is a bullet hell shooter, except you get to do the bullet hell. I almost looked at the wrong screen when I started. No settings to set. <laughs> it just works right out of the box. Unusually easy. Let's hit start. And I'm just going to continue my current profile. Okay, so let's take a look. At top here we have launch. Uh, that will go on to your next mission. This is the inventory. This is all the goodies you have that you pick up by doing missions, which is what the launch button does. As you can see, different weapons have different levels, and the weapons themselves can be upgraded. In fact, in this case, I'm going to scrap these for some extra money. Let's go back up here. So look at these, look at these guys right here. These are the weapons I'm using. If you notice, they also have... Ooh, I didn't put anything in there. Well, we'll show you how to do that. They also have upgrade slots. So I am going to uh, select this guy. Put him on the hull of the ship. <laughs> Look at all the crap I've got on the hull of this ship. By the way, you can rotate it uh, with the second stick if you'd like it to aim a little bit differently. This one uh, is best with a little bit of an arc. Okay, so I laid it on there. Now, I can add to it. Let's modify by hitting Y. And now I can see all these little upgrades, which, of course, I also picked up. So, I want more projectiles. Nope. Not piercing. And I want them to split when they hit something so they can hit more crap. There we go. Those have levels too, of course, but you can uh, switch the levels around. So like you can have a low level upgrade on a high level weapon. Recommend you save your high level upgrades for your high level weapons though. But you know, play it however you want. What can you buy? Well, you can upgrade your ship itself. Uh, the auto gun is the built in gun that's on the ship. Weapon slots for extra weapons. This is insane. Look at how much it's going to cost me for the next one. It's going to be a while. Extra luck, which means you get extra, or actually better weapons. Hit points, how many hit points you have, and of course you have a shield. Alright, I think I've covered the basics. Now let's get on to the bulk of the game, which is the shooting. Which is the fun part. We'll just do, uh, probably do a couple missions. Give you an idea of what we're looking at here. It's very simple. Press button to shoot. I'm going to go... These are a little bit... <laughs> when you start out, some of these are really easy, but once you get going... Uh, I'm sorry, when you start out, these are really hard, but once you get going, uh, they become really easy. I'm going to do a, a regular level that I stand a chance of losing on, and then a boss level we'll go with. This is kind of cute. I like <laughs> Toot <laughs> instead of Tweets. You can see the game's got a pretty good sense of humor about it. I like that. You know, you don't see that all the time. Shooters try to be too serious. Look at, look at all this crap. Oh, shoot. Guess I shouldn't have been talking. Well, it's kind of a point of video, isn't it? All right, so there's a little object to pick up. That's an item. This, of course, is your parts for monies. Like me some monies. And I am just 
kick your butt here. You didn't actually get to see anything. Well, I'm kicking their butt. Might have to go through another level. I think I, in my last round, I upgraded like just before I quit, so I might be like, really just kicking this thing a lot. Because I like the art really good guys to do. That's incredible stuff. <laughs> Alright. Give him a chance, give him a chance here. So you get bonuses at the end of the round, basically for uh, killing most of them if you can, and having as little damage to yourself. Now I actually have some damage, so I'm probably not going to get the top score. Ran into something. There's a little bit I can't see off the top of the screen that I'm monitoring. It's, it's, it's not a lot, but sometimes I'll have something to get by. Too. Yeah. Dude, look at all these weapons, it's ridiculous. So you got, <laughs> I'm I'm spitting acid out. I've got missiles shooting out. I got freaking laser beams. It's just insane. Now I'm getting a little tore up. Checkpoint, checkpoint. There we go, yeah, see I got a B. But look at all the stuff I picked up, not bad. So you can go to the hangar um, and Upgrade. You get up your difficulty as well, and you'll get more goodies for that. But I'm going to launch here, and I'm going to go to a boss level. And maybe I'll bounce back to uh, a level I haven't made it to. Because that went pretty fast, didn't it? <laughs> it's, I don't know, I'm only like five minutes in or something. And you know how I love to drone on throughout a video. Just wash my hair, by the way. It looks wonderful, doesn't it? See, these these are the extras you get by watching my videos. You get my hair status. All right, so I'm gonna pretty much just kick the crap out of this. Oh, no, I'm not. This guy's actually hard. Um, this boss is a pain in the butt. It's gonna be harder, too, because while I'm monitoring this, I can't hear, so I can't tell when I'm hitting him. And I'm gonna have a hard time telling when he attacks. Oh, no, he's good. Now he's gonna chop there. Oh, yeah. You're gonna suffer. Yeah, there's an audio cue that he's gonna attack, and I just... I can't hear it. What was the name of that movie where they had the giant worms in the ground? What the heck was the name of that? Ugh. It had like three or four sequels to it. I do not remember the name. If you know the name, put, put it in the comments of the wall. Come on, I gotta remember it. It's like, ah, oh, no. I cannot remember it. That's killing me now. All right, so I did a C. Fine, whatever. Got some goodies. Back to the hangar. I'm gonna go show you a little bit harder level. It does start out, just so you know, really hard. <laughs> it's You feel like you're not getting anywhere for a little bit, but then once you, uh, once you get going and start upgrading the ship to your liking, then you start getting some really uh, you know, you start really like you got some power. And then you can take on the world until you can. Pretty nice graphics too. Looks great on the handheld, very bright colors. Can't beat that. Man, I am just walloping them. We did some minor upgrades to the oh. Got rattled there. Nice. 
<laughs> They're just dying so fast there. Why don't you use some enemies? I keep killing them. Nice. Yeah, that's good. One of the levels there's this uh, big old train running across the bottom. And the first time I ran into it, it was so freaking hard because the weapons I had really weren't up to the task. Uh, then, you know, you upgrade the weapons and it's cool as heck because you're just blowing away this train at the bottom. I'm actually pretty tore up. Probably only gonna get a feel. Look at all those bullets. It's just ridiculous how much weaponry you can throw on this thing. It looks ridiculous too, doesn't it? It's ridiculous. Nice. Yeah, only 46% health. Unlock, see? New gun every so often. Unlock the lightning gun. Have to check out that. So. Inventory. I've got the... Let's see, what doesn't really do much? We'll replace the uh, flamethrower. Drop it, you just drop it off the ship. And then uh, hit B. There you, go. you know, I could. I think I could have just hit B, couldn't I have? No. Here's the lightning gun. Let's just put it on and see what it does. What the heck, right? <laughs> it looks... <laughs> Uh, looks ridiculous. We won't. I won't upgrade it because I'm not 100% sure what it acts like. So we'll uh, we'll wait and see here. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh uh, yeah. I'm sure there's some people playing this game that are kind of like, uh, you know, they design their ship and they're real careful about where they put their weapons. And, I just slob them on there, wherever. It's the job. Oh, is that lightning gun doing anything? Oh yeah, I forgot. Hit B for shield. You can upgrade that too. I think that's telling you. Oh man, I got her up there. Sure, I'll make it through, but I'm gonna suffer a little bit for that. <laughs> That's a lot of death. I still have yet to see. I'm gonna have to. Read the instructions on that lightning because I have yet to see it actually do anything. Is it actually do anything? don't see the effect of this. Unless I'm, you know, unless there's something I'm missing here. There might be. I might have to just get it closer. Or, I don't know, read the description. Crazy thought. Come on. Alright, end checkpoint. Probe, it looks like <laughs> for this level and some other cannons nice so anyway that is rain of bullets it's 
it's pretty fun, actually. You get a lot for your money. Um, like I said, it's 13. It's on the steep end of the indie uh, shooter games. And it's, um, it's, it's appearance on the store, you know, like the, the screenshots of it might not make it look as fun as it is, but this game is a lot of fun. I've actually been playing it for a couple weeks now straight. I just kind of play it before I go to bed as a wind down game. It's been working really well. I like it quite a bit. Uh, I think you would too. Link is down below. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more of them. See ya. Retro Rocks Gaming Videos